Good evening and welcome back to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Simidar. The Mississippi State Bulldogs started this year's run of the College World Series with a thrilling come from behind win over Auburn on Sunday night. But after rain washed out yesterday's game, the lights wouldn't be needed today. Taking on Vanderbilt, dogs down already in the fifth. They're down three. Now they're down six. Steven Scott swatting one out to right field. No doubter off Riley Self. Double the Commodores lead. 6 nothing. but if history tells us anything, you can't count out these dogs. Seventh inning, Marshall Gilbert gone. MSU would score three times in the inning to cut the lead in half, but they'd get no closer, and MSU will head into a must-win scenario tomorrow night against Louisville. Quentin Post has officially signed his national letter of intent to join the Mississippi State men's basketball team. Seven-foot Post player from Amsterdam will join the dogs in the fall. He Averaged nearly 16 points and 7 rebounds with his club team in Berlin, Germany last season. Post had other offers from Georgia Tech, Washington State, and Western Kentucky before committing to the Bulldogs. The Atlanta Braves have placed left-handed reliever Sean Newcomb on the 7-day concussion list. Newcomb took a line drive, this one right here, off the back of his head on Sunday night. He's passed all the concussion tests, should avoid landing on the actual injured list. 26-year-old, 1-0, 2-3-8 ERA this season. Earlier this week, New Orleans Pelicans picked up Alvin Gentry's option for the 2020-21 season as David Griffin continues to rebuild the organization into a contender. That proceeded with a deal that sent Anthony Davis out, brought in Lonzo Ball, Brendan Ingram, Josh Hart, and picks. Griffin feels that Gentry's stylistic offense will be the perfect fit for the players he just acquired, a reason he pointed to picking up Gentry's option. Griffin has also liked the veteran coach's calming presence as the team dealt with internal turbulence amidst Anthony Davis's recent trade request. All of David Griffin's focus has since swiveled to tomorrow's NBA draft. There's plenty the Pelicans can do with half of the draft's first four picks. But one thing that is for certain, Zion Williamson will be taken number one overall. But for the 18-year-old power forward out of Duke, there is no pressure come tomorrow night. I don't really see it as pressure. Um, I'm doing what I love to do, and that's play basketball. Um, and I don't try to live up to nobody's expectations. They can set them there, but I don't try to live up to them. I'm, I just be me. I don't know how I'm going to react. I don't know if I'm going to cry. I don't know if I'm going to like have this giant smile on my face. Like I, I guess we'll see tomorrow night. The NBA offseason just keeps on a given. Today we had ourselves a second blockbuster trade within a week. Grizzlies parting ways with 11-year veteran Mike Conley, shipping him to Utah for a package of players and picks. Conley, who leads the Grizzlies franchise in points, assists, three-pointers made, and games played, returns Kyle Korver, Jay Crowder, Grayson Allen, and a pair of first-round picks to Memphis. The Grizz felt this was the best time to move on from Conley as the team prepares to select Murray State point guard John Morant in tomorrow's NBA draft.